let's move on to Neon's deck. Yep. Where, where's Neon? What's up, fuckers? That, that's a good introduction. Yeah. Pop, bitch. What no, makes this cow deck liberal? liberal. <laughs> Explain that. I don't know why they labeled it that, because the name of the deck is very clearly... Hold on, ah, I remember the name of the deck. Okay, this is not Libertarian prowess. I see. No, this is not liberal. This isn't liberal plot. There's no, there's no politics involved. We gotta cook. <laughs> Jesse, we need to cook. Right now. So, do you... Are you forcing um, Autumn Fay uh, and here with you um, to cook meth? Is that your explanation? <laughs> Sorry, I mean, lose no set and, you know... And we blight, they gotta cook. You you find you find two pairs of, you know, cute lesbian couples and you're like, you know what? You're gonna help me cook some meth. And they're like, What's the meth? And you're like, You're gonna find out. You're going to yeah. learn that I'm from I am this from, world includes. As the New Mexican as the New Mexican, I currently live in rural New Mexico and lesbians definitely cook meth. Thank you. Uh, insight. This is also uh, consistent with my understanding uh, from my time in Portland, Oregon. Um, Real. But it's good to get some confirmation uh, across the states. Um, yeah. So here's the narrative. So uh, all, all the people around the place, Hartford Savant, aka Walter Hartwell White. Oh, absolutely. Get, get on, get on my Galvin coal line. We're going to New Mexico. <laughs> That's right. Chugga, 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 chugga. Oh boy. It's scorching hot out here. I'm not going to incorporate all of the the words, but you know, we get to New Mexico and it's cooking time. Yep. You know, uh, I should really make uh, another uh, treasure token for AVX for the crystallized things, which is just clearly math. Yeah. <laughs> this is really good insight. Thank you. Wait. So, so does that mean the slice in crystals in the lore is supposed to be a metaphor for uh, meth? Yeah, so uh, in canon, what they are is they can replicate, they basically cause a non-biological matter to grow as if it was biological, which is fucking weird. Um, but also, holding them near you uh, for extended periods of time does give you psychic powers, just like crystal math. So, uh, you know what? Oh, true. Wait, so maybe, maybe I, have, I have also heard this. I have also heard this. Um, I... I'm, like, pretty high on this deck. Uh, it is a really fucking good linear deck. Um, as long as Neon doesn't, like, brick repeatedly at mulligans. Um, it, like, just imploded me multiple games in a row on turn three. Um, so, yeah, I, I want to believe. This This deck's, like... I mean, no one's main decking, like, good healing. Or, sorry, like, good life gain. You have a bunch of flyers. You have a bunch of, like, persistent damage. I don't know. Let, let, fuck it. 8.5, let's go. 8.5? I think mean, that's... You're putting it higher than ramp? I'm putting it higher than ramp, because this deck looks like it should shit on ramp. Uh, are you <laughs> high on this deck? I mean, yeah, on that. Crystal map. <laughs> We've been cooking. Anyways, let me let me talk with you through each of my picks okay. here. Okay. Stormshaper, Adept, and Pupil of Lightning. You know, we love we love a good Monastery Swift Spear, but like slightly worse, but a little bit quirky. Um, Enraptured Countess is an onboard is an onboard sorcery, which you know we love. We stand. Hartford Savant. This card is bonkers. If this card, if I untap with this card and I play like a Flame Colors Command, or God forbid, a Goddess's Whimsy. I should probably win that turn, unless I brick. Is Goddess's Whimsy supposed to be an innuendo for something? No, I mean, <laughs> I don't know, do you... Uh, hold on, there's something about... Me. Yeah, Goddess's Whimsy is, you know, it's 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 obviously Skylar. Take a look at the art, clearly. No, 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 it's, it's, it's like the nervous lady that Jesse wanted to bone really bad. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, anyways, yeah. this is a masterpiece. There is a story. There is cute girls all over the damn place. Uh, this deck takes place in New Mexico. <laughs> um, this is this is the strong... It has trains. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All, all 14 lands look exactly the fucking same. <laughs> they look... The bar is so low. <laughs> the, the no, look this, like... is, this, is, this is amazing. This is my first ever uh, five heart rating. Congratulations, I Neon. I am that good. Ne Neon, if you don't win this GP, you're going to make all of us look incredibly embarrassing. 
I just want listen. To... No, no, no. You, you, you need to lose because that would be way funnier. <laughs> you need to make it to top eight and then lose. I need to win so I can put that really zoomed in face of Walter as the art for Heart Forge Savant. I mean, even you can, even if you get a top eight, you can still do that at the end hold of the on, season. It's like, what do you lose? Oh, I want a perverse for AVX. Finger curls on the monkey's paw. <laughs> <laughs> Neon, when you lose, um, I think the entire server should just spam the gif of Walter White to laugh to him. <laughs> I, don't know if, I don't know if any y'all fuckers were on Tumblr during the niche apocalypse. We should just put all yeah. of our PFPs uh, to, like, like, hogging Walter White. Um, yes, that one. Uh, Pipstreet just posted hogging Walter White. Uh, so yeah, that one. <laughs> I think I think those are the stakes.